Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review. And today we're taking a look at another highly anticipated Marvel Comics figure from Mafex. This time around, we have Daredevil. And just like with Captain America, I've been really looking forward to this figure. And from what I've heard so far, this guy turned out awesome. So I'm really hyped up to take a look at it. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Starting off with the awesome packaging. Like always, he does have that comic book inspired packaging. We get some Daredevil artwork up here, some numbering through the window you're able to see the figure along with the accessories up front we get a look at the figure it says daredevil marvel mafex all that good stuff on the side of the box it says daredevil and then we get a look at the figure and then we have some cool looking artwork right there that's awesome and then on the back we get a look at the figure doing its thing in a bunch of different poses along with the accessories that he comes with and then on this side of the box we get another look at the figure and another cool thing about the packaging is that when you take the tray out we have some really cool looking comic book panels back there so that's always dope to see so yeah the packaging is cool it's collector friendly it's not too big doesn't take up too much space but enough about the pretty box let's go ahead and get daredevil out and take a look oh, yes okay so here we have daredevil aka matt murdoch right out of the packaging and man look at this thing this figure is freaking phenomenal once again mafex absolutely killed it this thing turned out so freaking dope and you know what at this point we really have to just crown Mafex the kings of comic book figures. Like whether it's Marvel or DC, they kill it almost every single time. And I feel like they're getting better and better. Like Captain America was amazing to me. I freaking love that figure. And Daredevil is right up there with him. They did such a great job on this guy. And man, look at him. I, I think the figure looks amazing. Like the build is perfect for daredevil you know like it's not too buff or anything but he is muscular he does have a very like athletic acrobatic type of build which is perfect for him and i love the way they incorporated different like shades of red into the costume like the d's on the chest and the belt are a different color red than the rest of the figure same goes for the boots and the pieces on the forearms so that's a really cool way to make like you know his look a little bit more visually interesting you know as opposed to if it was just all the same color red. And then they also incorporated some really nice subtle shading into the figure. Like it's not that there's like a heavy wash or anything. But there's just like some really nice subtle shading you know throughout the figure. Man look at this thing. So freaking dope. And right out of the packaging, all of the joints felt really nice on this figure. After playing with it for a little bit, one of the hip joints did get a little tight on me. So I did have to drop just a little bit of oil in there and it freed it up. Ever since then, it's been fine. But aside from that, everything felt so good. The figure like moves smoothly. Everything is fluid and just moves nicely. It feels really good in hand. So that's that's always awesome to see. But man, I am so freaking happy with the way this figure turned out. When it comes to collecting action figures, like, <laughs> few things make me as happy as, like, a really good, classic, comic book feeling figure of a character I love, you know? That's why I was so, like, hyped up about Captain America. And, <laughs> you know, now I'm all hyped up about this Daredevil. It just feels like a perfect, like, comic book figure you know jump jumped right off the panels into my hands that's the way these types of figures make me feel so yeah man and then taking a close look at the details on daredevil starting off at the chest as you can see he does have the two d's and they look really nice they're sculpted on there but they're also painted really well you know like the paintwork on these is very nice like no slop it's very crisp and clean and not fuzzy at all and you don't see any of the red from the letters on the figure itself so that's nice and i love the way that the letters are actually a different shade of red than the rest of the figure it makes them stand out a little more so yeah man they did a great job with those and then checking out the rest of the body you could see that there's a little bit of shading in there but it's very subtle you know it looks really good and then we have the belt here and the belt is the same color red as the as the letters on the chest so that is very cool and then on the side of the leg here he does have his billy club holsters and these are held in there with a little ball joint which can pop out really easily i like how they have this piece here that kind of you know like connects to the billy club holder so it doesn't look like they're just floating on his leg there and then there's also the strap down here so 
yeah that's really nice and then on the forearms you could see that it's a different shade of red than the rest of the figure but it's also a different shade of red than the belt and the letters on the chest so that's interesting and the red on the forearms matches the red of the boots and the boots look really good too we do have a little bit of detail in there so those look nice and then yeah check out the shading a little bit of wrinkles and sculpting in certain areas but yeah man it's a beautiful looking figure you know obviously he has a very simple design but mafex did a really great job with it i like the different shades of red that we see in there you know like on the details and i like the shading that they added i love that it's very subtle and they didn't overdo it and it just looks really good so yeah man it's a great looking figure and then for accessories daredevil does come with a bunch of cool stuff including three different head sculpts so this is the first one here and i think they did a really nice job on it the facial expression is really good you know he's definitely just kind of stone cold with it not a whole lot going on but i think it works really well for daredevil and they did a nice job with the skin tone i feel like mafex sometimes struggles with skin tone but i think on daredevil they did a really good job with it i love the eyes and how they're a different shade of red than the rest of the head that is really cool and then he does have the horns up top and they are soft plastic so you don't have to worry about them snapping off on you or anything but man look at that that's like a perfect looking daredevil head sculpt you can see the details here on the ears, so it actually looks like a guy wearing a mask. That's always nice. Look at that, man. That is perfect. A lot of times with Mafex figures, like people like to get custom heads made, but I don't think that's necessary at all for Daredevil. Like, this is a really great looking head sculpt. And then for the second head sculpt, we have an angry facial expression. And once again, man, this is just another really good looking Daredevil head sculpt. This time around, Matt Murdock looks like he's about to whoop someone's ass. He's gritting his teeth a little bit. And yeah, man, it looks really good. The eyes look nice. Once again, the skin tone is good. We have those details that we saw on the previous mask with the ear and, you know, the creases on the back there. That looks nice. And then as you can see on the mouth here, they painted the lips and the teeth look good. Yeah, man, just another really great looking head sculpt. And then for the third and final head sculpt, we have Daredevil screaming at the top of his lungs. And yeah, just like the other two head sculpts, this is awesome. They did a great job on these. Mafex is three for three when it comes to Daredevil head sculpts. As you can see on this here, they did a really nice job painting the mouth area with the teeth and the tongue. And then a little bit of black in there. So yeah, that looks really nice. Man, I've got to say, I think Daredevil has some of the best head sculpts that we've ever seen from Mafex. They killed it on all of these. Honestly, I don't even know which one I like the most. All three of them are amazing. I think I love all three of them equally. I do wish that he came with an unmasked Matt Murdock head. I think that would have been amazing. But as far as the head sculpts that we got, all three of them are pretty much perfect. I love them. And since he doesn't come with an unmasked head sculpt, you could always use a Cyclops head for Matt Murdock. And I think this works pretty good. This is the head that came with the Mafex Jim Lee Cyclops. And it does work. It won't pop on there though. So, you know, if you want to use this, you probably have to get some blue tack or something like that to keep it in place. But it does look good. Or you could use the head that came with the Mafex X Factor Cyclops. And I actually think this looks better because the glasses are more red. So I think that looks nice. But again, it doesn't pop on. You have to find a way to get it to stay on there securely. But as far as the look goes, I think that definitely works. It would have been nice if he came with the unmasked head sculpt, but I think this is a pretty good solution. And then Daredevil does come with six different sets of hands. First off, we get a pair of fists. We get a set of open relaxed hands. He has a pair of open dramatic hands. And then we get a pair of flat karate chop hands. And I'm not sure how to describe these hands, so we'll just call them angry hands. He comes with a set of angry hands. And then lastly, he has a pair of gripping hands. And then Daredevil does come with his billy clubs, and these are really nice. I mean... Really, they're just like two white sticks, but I like the way they added the string to the bottom here just to kind of make them look more interesting. But yeah, these are simple, but they do look really cool. You could definitely make him look awesome while swinging these. So yeah, these are dope. And then Daredevil comes with interchangeable Billy Club holsters, which is pretty cool because you have like all different options. Like right here, you could have it to where he has both Billy Clubs in the holster. And then you could also make it look like he has one billy club in the holster and they just kind of pop right in there with the ball joint 
So that's nice. And then you can make it to where he doesn't have any billy clubs in the holsters. You know, obviously, if he's, like, using them or something, they wouldn't be in there. So this is cool, man. I think this is a, a, a cool way to do this instead of, like, having it to where you can actually remove the billy clubs from the holsters because then, you know, they could be falling out or, you know, whatever. So I think this is a, a very interesting and unique way to do it. So I like this. And then Daredevil does come with two other types of billy clubs. These ones here have bendy wires in them. As you can see, we have the billy club that has, like, the hook at the end so we can you know, climb up buildings and stuff. And yeah, check out the bendy wire. This is pretty nice. So you could pose this up and do different types of things with it. And then this set of billy clubs also has a bendy wire, but the bendy wire in here is crazy. It's pretty long. <laughs> and, and you know, if you check out any type of Daredevil comic, whenever he's using his billy clubs, like these wires are going all over the place. So I love the fact that Mafex made these like so long and crazy. You could really you know, do some comic book accurate type of things with these long, crazy bendy wire billy clubs. So yeah, these are really, really dope. And it's going to look awesome having Daredevil posed up with these things flying around everywhere. So I like these a lot. So yeah, I'm really happy with the accessories that he came with. All the different heads are really nice. Extra hands are always appreciated. And then I love the billy clubs. Like, it's really dope that this wire is like so long and it allows you to capture the way that he uses the billy clubs in the comics because if you check out any daredevil panel where the billy clubs are in play these things are all over the place like the strings like almost doesn't make sense like <laughs> they're usually all over so i love the way that you could capture that with what mafex gave us here and i think this is going to be dope for photos and for display look at that man that's awesome so really good stuff with the accessories and then for some size comparisons, here we have the Mafex Daredevil alongside the Marvel Legends 3-pack Daredevil and the Mezco 112 Collective comic book inspired Daredevil. And as you can see, the Mafex version is by far the best of the three. The Legends one is pretty cool and everything. I think it's a nice figure. I still like it quite a bit. It just doesn't come close to the Mafex version. And the Mezco one is cool but it's not really comic book accurate obviously it's like mezco's interpretation of comic book daredevil i still think it's a very cool figure and i like the design and everything but you know you can't really play with this figure too much because of the soft goods so it's kind of limited in the posability department so the Mafex version just does everything better than the other two. It looks better, it's more comic book accurate, and it's more fun to play with. So in pretty much every single category, the Mafex one is way better than both the Legends version and the Mezco one. And then next we have Daredevil alongside the Mafex classic comic book Spider-Man Captain America and the Mafex comic Spider-Man. And yeah, look at these three. It's, it's beautiful. All three of these figures are awesome. Make sure you check out my Captain America review. I posted that last week. And man, Mafex is just killing it right now. Like <laughs> Daredevil and Captain America, in my opinion, are some of their best figures hands down. Both of them are amazing. And then next we have them alongside the Mafex X-Factor Cyclops and the Mafex Brown Suit Wolverine. Both of these figures have custom head sculpts from Casting Cave. Huge shout out to Casting Cave for hooking these up. Both of them are awesome. Definitely made these figures better, especially Cyclops. But yeah, originally I thought this Daredevil was going to feel a lot like Cyclops, but it turns out that's not the case. Everything about Daredevil feels like a step up from like some of the older Mafex figures. Just like the feel, the look, just everything about it is is like better than we've seen from them in the past. Like Cyclops came out only like a year ago and it's like night and day. And I like that Cyclops, but Daredevil is definitely in another league. And to get him in here with characters that he may cross paths with, here we have him alongside the Marvel Legends 3-pack Elektra and the Marvel Legends Lady Bullseye. And I think they scale pretty well together. It would be nice to see Mafex like, try to give us a good Elektra figure. I don't think that uh, any of the Marvel Legends ones are that great. Like, this one's cool. Hopefully, Hasbro gives us a red version pretty soon. I don't know. Have they announced that? I don't know. Maybe they have. But... They need to get to it, but I would really like to see Mafex do it. I think they could do a great job. I don't know if they'll ever go as deep as Lady Bullseye, but that'd be awesome too. But for now, I think these look pretty good together. And same thing applies to the Marvel Legends Bullseye. Like, I think this Marvel Legends 3-pack version does fit in pretty well with the Mafex Daredevil, but I'd totally be down for a Mafex Bullseye. I think that'd be awesome. But here we have Daredevil alongside that 3-pack Bullseye, and then on the opposite side, we have the Marvel Legends 3-pack Nick Fury with Commissioner Gordon's jacket. I took that jacket from the Mezco Commissioner Gordon. I just like this look for Nick Fury, so he's staying like that for now. <laughs> 
And then next we have Daredevil alongside the Revil Tech Moon Knight. And then on the opposite side, we have the Mezco 112 Collective Classic Punisher. I don't have that new Legends Punisher yet, but I think he'll look awesome next to this Daredevil. And man, how dope would a Mafex Moon Knight be? Or a Mafex Punisher? I'd be down for both of them from Mafex. And then here we have them alongside the Mezco 112 Collective Classic Comic Book Spider-Man and the Mezco 112 Collective Iron Fist. And, you know, just like many other characters that we've seen, I would be so down for a Mafex Iron Fist. I think they would absolutely kill it. And then, of course, here we have them alongside the Marvel Legends Bucky Cap and Marvel Legends Renew Your Vow Spider-Man. And then stepping away from Marvel, here we have Daredevil alongside the Mafex Batman and the Mafex Nightwing. A lot of people thought that Daredevil and Nightwing would be very similar to each other because, you know, they have similar things going on. But honestly, again, Daredevil is in another league compared to Nightwing. And Nightwing is a nice figure, but Daredevil's a lot better. And then here we have Daredevil alongside the Mezco 112 Collective, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Raphael, and the NECA Mirage Comics Return to New York Raphael. And then here we have Daredevil alongside the Mezco 112 Collective, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Casey Jones. And then on the opposite side, we have the knockoff NECA Mirage Comics, Michelangelo. And yeah, I think Daredevil looks really good next to all the different Ninja Turtle figures. And then last but not least, here we have Daredevil hanging out with my original character, Odious from Unparalleled Universe. That figure is available now. I'll leave a link to that information in the description below. And then on the opposite side, we have the King, the NECA, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mirage Comics, Kirby, a.k.a. Jack Kirby. And as we've come to expect from Mafex, the articulation on this guy is really nice. The articulation setup that Mafex uses is definitely perfect for characters like Daredevil because you could get them into really dynamic and dramatic poses, but everything still looks really good and natural. I think that Mafex does a great job of incorporating the joints into the articulation. Daredevil is a great example of that, especially like in the shoulder area. There's not like a whole lot of gaps or anything, but the articulation still maintains the range that we're used to seeing from from Mafex. So yeah, man, once again, they freaking killed it in the articulation department as they always do. But let's go ahead and see what we have going on here. Starting off at the head, just like all Mafex figures, he does have movement at the lower neck and at the upper neck. So using both of those, we get some really nice tilt. Oh, the head popped off. Oh no, no, it didn't. Sorry. Yeah. So we get some really nice tilt side to side. He could look up to about right there. He could look down to right there. And then obviously he could look side to side. So really good movement at the head and the neck as always. So that's dope. And then for the torso, he does have a diaphragm cut and a ball joint at the waist. Using both of those, we get some really nice movement. Seems like the waist doesn't crunch forward as much as it did on Captain America. But we still get some pretty nice range. Check that out. That definitely works. Then you can go back to about right there. So that's nice. We get a little side to side action. And yeah, I love the uh, look. Oh, man, look at that. Perfect. I love the side to side action. That really helps you get figures into natural looking dynamic poses. Really dope stuff there. And then he can twist at the diaphragm and he can also twist at the waist. This is one of those figures that it just looks dope all the time, no matter what you're doing. Even if you're not trying to get it into a cool pose, it just always looks amazing. <laughs> Look at that. Such a freaking amazing figure. And then he does have the typical Mafex butterfly joints here. Look at that. You could get his arms way in front of him. Jeez. Really, really nice. Then they come back a really good amount. They did a they did a really nice job with the shoulders. They always do, but with Daredevil, I don't know. I feel like it's just nicer for some reason. Man, so good. And then you can also shift the shoulders around as you need to, like shift them up and down, you know? They don't move up and down as much as some other Mafex figures, but they still move around a nice amount. I think they wanted to focus on this forward and back area. That's what it kind of seems like. So that's cool. Yeah, man, it's crazy how much you could get. Damn, look at that. That's, that's insane. So really good stuff there at the butterfly joints. 
and then his arms do go all the way around. You can bring them up to the side to about right there. He has upper bicep swivel. He has double jointed elbows. Boom. Look at that. Then at the wrist, he has a ball joint with the hinge. So you could swivel the ball joint itself or swivel at the hand. Yeah, sorry. I keep getting distracted while playing around with this figure, man, because everything just feels so good and he just looks awesome no matter what you're doing. <laughs> and then for the legs, as always, he does have drop down hips that go down to about right there. And then you could kick forward to right there. And, you know, if you crunch them forward, man, that's that's really good, actually. Boom. Look at that. So really nice forward movement with the legs. Then he can kick out to the side, but on, on this side, on his left leg, he does have his, you know, katana holsters. I mean, katana holsters, sorry, his billy club <laughs> holsters. And, uh, you know, so if you want to get his leg to go all the way up, you have to either pop this out or just kind of move it to the side. And, you know, it, it rotates on its little ball joint in there. So you have some options. It's not really in the way. You just kind of move it and then it allows his leg to go way up. So really nice movement on the legs here. Doesn't really go back a whole lot. He does have that upper thigh swivel in there. He has double jointed knees that get a good bend. And no boot swivel, but at the ankle he does have a ball joint. So we get our swivel there. He has rocking ankles, hinge forward to right there, hinge up like that, and then some toe joints. Yeah, so I'm sorry. I kept... <laughs> I kept getting silent because I was just enjoying playing around with the figure. But damn, man, the articulation on him is so nice. So much fun to play with. You could get him into all kinds of crazy daredevil poses. I don't think there's any other daredevil figure out there that can pose as good as this figure. So yeah, man, really great stuff in the articulation department. I'm just having so much fun playing around with this figure. And it's definitely one of those hand candy type of situations. So yeah, man, I freaking love it. Alrighty, so overall, at the end of the day, when the smoke clears, the dust settles, and it's all said and done, I know it's pretty obvious at this point, so it probably doesn't even have to be said, but I freaking love this figure. I love everything about it. Honestly, I think that Mafex killed it in every single department on this figure. You know what I mean? I love the way it looks. I think the body is a good build for the character. I like what they did incorporating different types of red into the costume. I like the shading that we have in there. The figure is really well sculpted. He comes with some of the best head sculpts that we've seen from a Mafex comic book figure. I love all the accessories, all the different hands, the different heads, the billy clubs, the billy clubs with the bendy wire. That is so much fun. The articulation on him is ridiculous. The figure is a blast to play around with. You could get him into any type of pose that you would want for Matt Murdock. So yeah, they just killed it in, in every single aspect. In my opinion, this is like, like almost a perfect daredevil figure i can't really think of anything i dislike about it um I'm, let me know in the comments is there anything that stands out as a negative to this figure i mean on this figure that i'm just not like registering because i'm so excited about it i don't know let me know sometimes it goes down like that you know and, and oftentimes when a figure makes me react like that it is easy to kind of overlook some things that aren't quite perfect but you know when i see this daredevil i can't I can't think of anything to complain about. To me, it's like a perfect version of Daredevil. I don't see another company coming along and giving us a better Daredevil than this figure here. In my opinion, it does everything right. And man, I would love to see Mafex do more like street level heroes. Like how crazy would a Punisher be from Mafex that was at this level of quality? You know what I mean? Or a Moon Knight with a soft goods cape or a Blade with a soft goods jacket. We know that they could that Mafex could do soft goods well. They did it with Gambit. So I would love a Blade figure from them. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, having a Daredevil, now I want a Bullseye that's as good as this because I don't think, you know, there's some cool Bullseye figures out there, but I would love a Bullseye that was at the level of quality of this Daredevil because this thing is amazing. Mafex absolutely killed it. I love this figure. Just like Captain America, it's going to end up being one of the best figures of the year, in my opinion. And this thing is just, it's dope. It's like the definitive end-all, be-all Daredevil. I would love to see Mafex do like 
different versions of daredevil that were at this level i would i'd be down for a shadowland version i'd be down for a first appearance you know yellow version give me all the daredevils especially if they could be anywhere near the quality of this figure here because like i said mafex absolutely killed it on this guy and i'm super happy with it and with that i think that's it thank you so much for watching please be sure to like comment subscribe and all that good stuff also be sure to hit the bell notification so you know every time that i go live thank you very much peace